Hey, and welcome to the third Armor Reforger tool video. Uh, this one is going to cover materials and textures. Um, now, the Arma tools, or the Arma engine, or whatever you want to call it, is handles materials similarly to other game engines, if you're familiar, with like something like Unity or Unreal, but also at the same time, kind of differently. So I'll uh, kind of cover that. So anyhow, this is what we had last video. Obviously, yours should be gray, uh, whatever model you imported, not textured. Uh, this is just detecting the textures I had imported earlier for testing. Um, and basically, so what we're going to do to fix that is we are going to right-click in here and create a material. And then just name it whatever you want. So I'm going to call it test, and it'll be this blank material. Uh, now to apply it, you're going to click on your mesh, go up to here, to the top right, and select the sub thing called mesh object. You'll see your mesh, and it'll probably be like this. Now you'll hit the drop down. Materials will be uh, your material slot will be right there, and you can just drag it in. And that's how you set a material. Obviously, yours will already look like this. I'm just resetting it because it was picking up the other textures for some reason. So now, if you double click your uh, material, it opens this, which is like your material editor. Um, okay. So this word's it's going to get a bit technical. I'm going to, well, not really technical, but like a bit of a mouthful. So I'm just going to kind of try to give you the basic idea, but breeze over it. So basically there's multiple textures uh, when it comes to modeling. Uh, like there's uh, uh, many textures. So there's roughness, metallic, base color, normal maps. There's, a, you know, height maps. There's tons. Uh, the basics are base color, Metalness, Roughness, AO, and Normal. Um, now, generally, the Metalness, Roughness, and AO are compressed into one file, and then you've just got your base color and your Normal. That's just for optimization, so, you know, you're not taking as much memory on the graphics card. Um, now, the Arma engine, or Reforger Tools, does this a little differently. And if you actually hover over the uh, maps after you've dropped them down, it'll actually tell you. So BCR map is albedo in RGB and roughness in the alpha channel. And then you've got opacity, so just ignore that. And then you've got your NMAO map, or NMO, sorry. And if you hover it, it'll tell you the breakdown of that. And it is uh, RG, so the RG part, is for the normal, the B is for the metalness, and the A, so the alpha, is for the AO. So, yeah, uh, different than I've really ever seen it done before. I mean, hey, you're only using two texture maps, so, I mean, that's good. Uh, but you're also using the alpha channel. But we're not going to get into all the technicality of that. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to, you know, export your textures to this. So... For this tutorial, I'm going to show how to use Substance Painter. Um, how to do this in Substance Painter. I will do a video on how to do this manually if you're doing your textures in Photoshop or something else. I assume most people uh, will probably be using Substance Painter. But I will do a video on how to do it manually if you don't. So, um, I'm using a bit of an older build, but this functionally is the same idea. So I'm going to open up the crate that I've just imported and uh, give it a moment here. I should have had this booted up first. And here, there's the crate. Pretty much what you would uh, what you saw there earlier when it was already textured. Um, there. So, you've got your prop. You've textured it in Substance, let's say. And now you want to export it to um, the Reforger tools. Uh, if you just export it normally, where it's like nothing compressed, you know, your uh, document channels, and it's just everything, you know, your roughness, map, your metalness, and everything separate, it's not going to work. You, there's no slot for everything separately. So what you're going to have to do, or what you normally would have to do, is export it like that and then like pack them in like Photoshop, or you would make a output template. Now, I'm not going to show how to do the, uh, the output template here, because I've already made one. Um, so, I mean, if, if people want a video of how to do it, you know, maybe for, you know, if they're doing like, I don't know, something custom, like, you know, something custom or something, 
or just for something else. I can do a tutorial on that. But for the sake of this, I'm just going to give you the template and show you how to use it. Um, so what you'll be able to do is I'll drop the template in the um, comment section, or not the comment section, the description of the video. Basically what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to come up to file here, go to import resources, add resources and go to desktop or like wherever you save it to, it'll probably be your downloads folder. And you will see a file called infusion.sp.exp and it's an export preset for Substance. If you import this, it'll instantly recognize it as an export preset. You don't have to select anything differently here. And then you'll basically say shelf because then it'll be, it'll save it for, it'll be in Substance Painter. It'll just become a part. It won't be file specific or session specific. It'll just, you'll have it to reference at all time. I'm not gonna do that because I already have it. And then basically what you'll be able to do is you've got your model all textured up here. You'll be able to go to export textures and then you'll be able to select it here. Uh, it'll be called Infusion. In, uh, the fixed one is Infusion Copy. I will change that so when you actually get it, it'll just be called Infusion. Um, and then basically you'll select it. You'll be able to go here, desktop, you know, uh, item. And then you'll be able to select the folder and export it. So you'll go export, boom. Now you have everything you need in uh, the tools uh, format. So then you'll go down to your, uh, wherever you exported them and you'll have two textures. That's it, it's as simple as that. And then basically what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to go into Infusion here, select both of them and drag them in just like you did with the model. Boom. It'll convert them to the texture fo texture format that the engine uses. And then basically you'll be able to go to that uh, menu we opened up here earlier and just drop them in. So this, the, the one with actual like color and isn't like this weird yellowy color will be the BCR map. So drag that and drop that in there. And then the NMA, the NMO map will be this weird yellowy color and you put that there and yeah that that's it you've now got your textures working in um the arma tools now there is one weird thing which i will admit i haven't f entirely figured out myself so if anyone else understands what i'm doing wrong here uh please feel free to drop a comment in the comment section and basically be like oh this is what you're doing wrong. So it doesn't look too bad here, but if you actually bring this into a world with proper lighting, like the actual map that comes with the game, uh, I'm not gonna open it up here to show just because it'll take me uh, uh, you know, quite a bit. So, uh, but you can kind of see it even in the lighting here. It's a little blown out, uh, like the light, like the textures. And it has something to do with this color thing up here. I found if you bring it down to about 70, so the R, G, and B here is 70, it is like it is uh, proper, like the color is proper to what you have in Substance Painter. Um, now, in there's a similar thing in Unreal Engine when you import textures, and it's sRGB, and it like corrects, I don't, it, it's basically color correction. And what this, and you basically have to turn it off on uh, like roughness and metal snip maps because it'll shift them and then things will be shinier than they need to be. Uh, but it needs to be turned on on color maps. And it almost looks like it isn't turned on. And that it's, that's why it's being this, it's being really blown out. Um, now it is here, but it's not like an Unreal where it's like a checkbox. So... I'm imagining that's the culprit, but I don't really, I'm not, I'm not certain that's the culprit. So if anyone knows, feel free to let me know. Like I said, I am learning just as much as everyone else is learning here. So yeah, um, I'm pretty sure that's pretty much the basics though. Other than that weird, you know, you might get, you might have to play with this a bit unless someone, you know, can let us know what the, uh, what I'm doing wrong here. Um, 
But yeah, that'll get your textures in. And for the most part, they'll work for what you want. Um, so yeah, a uh, bit of a longer video, but you know, hope that helped. Hopefully it was co coherent and uh, helped you. I'll drop the uh, export preset in the uh, description so you don't have to figure out that. I, I can show in a future video if people want to know how to do it. It's really simple. Um, and then uh, I will also probably do another video on how to do it manually using a free program. Uh, it's just quicker and easier than Photoshop. And if you don't have Photoshop because Photoshop's expensive, well, it's a free alternative and you can pack those maps up and get them working in engine here as well if you don't use Substance. So uh, I'll go over that in a future video. Uh, but now I'm just rambling. Thank you for watching again, uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.